Hello and welcome to the fifth episode of my Beagle Standard Build Log. Today we are going to put together the uh, carriage and effector plate assembly uh, together with the carbon rods uh, which will attach the uh, hot end eventually. So without any further delay, let's get started. Okay, for the assembly of the vertical sliders and the effector plate we need three vertical slider carriages, 18 bearings, small bearings, they come in these little cute tubes, a couple of M3 by 12 screws, a couple of M4 by 10 screws, some M3 nuts, some M3 nylock nuts, one effector plate, which is this, this piece, Um, six times M4 threaded rod. They come like this. But some, in my kit at least, were already inserted into the carbon rods. Uh, which comes, which is the next thing we need, the carbon tubes. Then some more M3 by 16 screws, M3 by 25 screws. So let's get them out as well. And last but not least, six rubber bands. In my case, I didn't have six rubber bands. I got a piece of bicycle tube and I have to cut them myself from this. So we do this before we do this before we start the actual assembly as preparation so we don't need to do that later on. So we end up with these little ends. So, for the carriages, these parts, we first uh, pre and uh, pre screw the screws in one, two, three, four, five, six. So they just extend into the cavity for the bearings. Do not pre drill these holes because otherwise you will have issues with the engagement of the threads. So just screw them in using a screwdriver and let the screw do the actual work. So, as you can see maybe the screw just engaged and extended into the cavity by one or two revolutions. That should be enough to keep the bearing and make it make it somewhat easier to to get it in now we move on by putting in the bearings and tightening the screws completely you will probably find that the bearings on this side and on this side would go in pretty easily the ones on this side are in the middle of the carriage and they're a little fiddly. Not too hard, but just, well, it's just a little bit fiddly. Now we have in each carriage six bearings. Two on this side, two on this side, one there, one there. And this ensures the carriage runs smoothly up and down the, the uprights. So next we are going to put in the screws that will engage with the end stop uh, switches we put on the upper vertex earlier. These screws are for adjusting the endpoints uh, so we can get nice and even uh, bed leveling. So what we do is we take an M4 by 10 screw and we put it into the hole here. So what we're going to do now is put an M3 by 12 screw in here. It's for tightening the carriage to the uh, to the upright. We put an M3 nylock nut on the other side, but we do not tighten it yet. Just loosely, so it's 
already on the carriage. Next up, we're going to assemble the effector plate rods, which means inserting the M4 threaded rod into the carbon tube. Then we take these Traxxas couplings and we thread them onto the threaded rod. Make sure as you thread the, the rod into the Traxxas couplings that they stay aligned and make sure they are in the end parallel to each other and fully tightened against the carbon rod. So, here we are, six effector rods. Next, we will have to mount these little balls into these little holes. And as per the manual, this can be a very tight fit. Now let me tell you, it is a tight fit. Like that, and we have to do that 12 times. Now we will have to mount this to the effector plate and to our carriages. For that, we need and three by 25 screws and we need some m3 nuts these are these nuts go right in there then we take our carbon rod and three by 25 goes through here then into here and then we tighten So this is what it should look like. There's an M3 nut in the cavity right there and right there. And the M3 by 24 and 5 screw goes through the ball, uh, ball joint, into the plastic, through the nut, further into the plastic, all the way up to here. They almost meet uh, at the ends, I think. And we need to do that on this side and on this side as well. There you go. One effector plate, six rods. Now we are going to use the rubber bands we prepared earlier. Slide two rubber bands on each pair of uh, parallel uh, connecting rods. Like this. Uh, now, take our carriage and we start attaching it to our carriage by using M3 by 16 screws. Like that, and then slide the rubber belts, rubber bands. So it should look like this. It goes on the printer like this.
So, this spider is what we should end up with. Make sure you got the orientation of the carriages and the effector plates just right, because if you have them the wrong way around, well, you have to undo them again and uh, start all over. So, it's good to check before you actually tighten the screws. So, there you have it. The effector and carriage assembly. Next time we will be actually putting the printer uh, pretty much together. Uh, so we will uh, add the uprights, slide over the carriages, um, put on the upper vertex or top, um, put on the belts, uh, tighten everything. So it will actually start like a proper Delta 3D printer. But that's for next video. Uh, for now, this is it. I would say stay tuned. Bye.